guys, a lot of people have been really enjoying this brand new MM2 update and believe that this is a great Easter event. But there are also a lot of people that think this event is not that great and even went out of their way to say that this event kinda sucks. Now, I personally do not hate this event. I've actually 100% completed this event very recently. As you can see, I got all the eggs. But there are still a lot of issues at hand that really should not have existed in this update or should be changed. Real quick, this video is not to hate on any of the developers. Again, I don't actually dislike this update, but I do want to talk about all the reasons people do dislike it because I feel like there's still a lot of valid issues people have with this update. Now, the first issue that a lot of people immediately realized as soon as this update released, and it's that we did not get a brand new lobby in this update. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys might think, oh, Colby, uh, the Easter lobby is right here. There's this brand new lobby that just released into the game, but this is actually last year's Easter lobby that Nicholas released for the Easter 2023 event, and we sort of assumed that we would be getting a brand new never-before-seen lobby before, but, um, yeah, that did not happen. We just got the same exact lobby as last year, unfortunately. Of course, this still is an Easter lobby nonetheless, and it is nice that we do not just have the standard MM2 lobby, but it would have been very nice to have a brand new lobby instead of just this old lobby that we got last year, because every single Christmas and Halloween update, we've gotten brand new lobbies for it every single time, so are we just gonna be getting the same Easter lobby every single Easter now, or what? A lot of people are afraid that we're never gonna be seeing any new Easter lobby into the game again, because we just got the reused one from last year, so we'll just have to see. It is a shame that we did just get the same lobby, but, you know, that's not really a big deal. What I feel like is a big deal is the fact that we did not get any legendaries in this update. Like, we got, like, items of, like, every single tier. Like, we got some common, some uncommon, some rare, even some godlies, but strangely enough, we did not get any legendary. The tier in between rare and godly, we did not get anything. Like, usually in MM2 updates, we get legendaries at, like, the end of these free-to-play events, and even at the end of some pay-to-win events, we see some legendaries before the godly. Like, for example, last year, we got the chromatic legendary set for collecting a lot of the super rare eggs into the game, as well as a legendary Easter effect called the Easter Glow, which you got at the end of the Easter Battle Pass. At the end of the Easter Battle Pass this year, we got the Flowers effect, which is, for some reason, just a common effect. For some reason, this isn't, like, legendary or anything. This could have very easily been a legendary effect, which a lot of people were extremely disappointed in. I feel like legendaries are extremely underrated in Murder Mystery 2. There's a lot of super cool legendaries, some even, like, up to the point of, like, godly standards of how cool they look. So a lot of people are extremely upset to not be seeing any legendary this year, but people are also upset with the lack of any free-to-play godly. This is sort of an issue that every single free-to-play event has, but usually the best we ever get in these free-to-play events are legendary items. <laughs> of course, this event, the best we can get are rare items and some effects, but something I really wish was different in these free-to-play events is that we could be seeing some free-to-play godlies in the future, because of course we did get some godlies in this update, but you have to spend Robux to get them. Something that might have been cool is that maybe for like 10,000 common eggs, or maybe even like 15,000 to 20,000, like some sort of absurd amount of eggs, you'd be able to get a brand new Easter godly into the game. Maybe even like we could add like a bunch of new rare egg. Maybe you can collect a multiple of the same egg. Like if you got like 30 rare eggs or something, you could get like a new godly. That could be really cool. But if you're a free to play player, you're not going to be getting any of these Easter godlies unless you spend Robux. Every single Easter godly in this game were Robux shop godlies. Like Egg Blade, the Rainbow Set, the Flowerwood Set, all of these were Robux only items. And same goes with any of the Valentine's items or any of the Summer items like Harp Blade, the Sakura set, the Wave set, all of these were Robux only. Like, why can't any free-to-play players get these items for themselves without trading? Like, it kind of sucks. Some people are actually extremely upset with the Flowerwood bundle. This is definitely not people's favorite bundles in the game. Like, I personally kind of like the Flowerwood Godly Knife and Gun. I don't not have any issues with these items. A lot of people dislike them because they're blue, just because we've seen a lot of blue Godlies in the past. I don't see an issue with that personally, but what I do have an issue with is the Flowerwood effect. A lot of people dislike this effect for a pretty valid reason. The main reason is that it's way too similar to an effect that we already have, the flow effect. Like, they're both just, like, blue particle effect. They're both godly effect. They both have flow in the name of the effect. Like, we can even equip both of them. Like, here's the flow effect, and here's the flowerwood effect. Like, the only real difference is that flowerwood has a lot of these, like, white dots. So, I guess flowerwood is kind of cooler, but it doesn't even have, like, a very cool death effect to it, so. A lot of people are expecting something a little bit more, like, maybe some blue flowers, like, flying around the knife instead of just, like, blue particles around it. That would have been super cool. Like, it says flower wood in the name of the effect. There's no flowers and there's no wood in the effect. It's just a blue particle. So why is it called flower wood? If there's no flowers in the effect, like Nicholas, you should have put flowers on there. People are also disappointed with the brand new bunny toy that's in this Easter event, mainly because uh, this bunny toy does not do anything at all. Like you can click it. Like I'm clicking right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but uh, this bunny does literally nothing. All you do is hold it and that's it, which a lot of people are pretty upset with because a lot of the toys in the game actually do something. For example, the rare egg toy. Of course, you can't actually 
do anything with it, but had sparkled around, and every time you equip it, it has a different rare egg that you collected. And even some, like, super common toys, like the cookie toy, this was a completely free toy in the MM2 Christmas event, you can actually eat this. As you can see, there's an animation of you eating it. Same with stuff like the pie toy, you can just eat this. Like, the pumpkin toy, you're just able to carve a pumpkin out of it and throw it. Like, this is one of the coolest toys in all of MM2. But Bunny, there's just nothing cool about it. You just hold it, and that's it. The leaderboard trophy, people are also fairly upset with, like, of course, we got the Ginger Scope and Ginger Scythe leaderboard trophies in this game in the Easter update. Of course, this is for the Christmas update. We finally got an Easter. A lot of people were upset that we got the Ginger Scythe Godly instead of the Ancient at the leaderboard prize, which I kind of understand. It really does not make any sense of why we got the Godly. I know of that. Apparently, a lot of leaderboard players wanted the Godly, but I don't know. I felt like that was a pretty weird choice. And a lot of people dislike how a lot of the leaderboard trophy looked like in the game. Stuff like the top three Ginger Scythe leaderboard trophies, specifically like the bronze one, people really hated how a lot of these looked. And even some of the Ginger Scope trophies, people are not fairly happy with. I actually don't think this is a problem at all. I'm just, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna defend the MM2 stack team with this issue that people have been having, but only one person will ever own these top three trophies, and apparently the top three leaderboard players of each leaderboard got to help I don't know how to use design these trophies. That's why, like, the bronze trophies are really different from, like, the silver and gold trophies, because the owner of these bronze trophies wanted them to look a little bit different than how the other ones looked, which I think is completely fair, and since they're the only one that's gonna be owning this, like, it really does not matter if these look like trash in people's opinion or not, or if they, like, are a set at all, like, bronze ginger scythe and bronze ginger sculpt don't really match with each other at all, but that doesn't really matter, because no one's ever gonna be using this set to begin with, like, they're both one-of-one one items that, uh, two different people own, so it doesn't really matter if they match or not. But I remember when these trophies got leaked, like, they got a lot of hate at first, so I sort of wanted to bring that up either way. People are also a little bit upset with Edge Studio being removed. Not the fact that this map got removed, like, we all knew this map was gonna be removed eventually when End Studio 2 releases, but the issue at hand is that we did not get any map to replace it. Like, usually when maps get removed in the game, we have maps to replace it unless it's like an event map. Like, for example, when Office 2 got removed, we got two brand new Halloween maps with the Scary Mode Manor map as well as the Farmhouse map. So when Office 2 got removed in the Halloween 2021 event, it didn't really matter because we had two amazing maps to replace it at the time. But we did not get any map to replace End Studio uh, in the Easter update. Like, we did not get any Easter map. Apparently, we are going to be getting a new map very soon, like in brand new End Studio 2 or maybe even an Easter map that Jovan has been hinting. But as it currently stands, um, we do not have any brand new map into the game. So we sort of had one map get removed with nothing to replace it, which kind of sucks. We just have less maps to play in MM2 now, which a lot of people are not happy with. Yeah, guys, please let me know what you guys think about this Easter event. Again, I do not hate this event. I, I really like the Easter event, especially last year's Easter. I really like collecting all the rare eggs. And I've been spending a couple days trying to collect all these eggs in the game. Like, I got the Matrix effect and Flowers effect extremely recently. But even I can say that this event could have been a little bit better with some new legendary, some new features, all of these problems just not existing in the first place. Like, I'm not so sure. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this event. But yeah, guys, that's right to this video. So I'm gonna end it off here. So until next time, goodbye!